everybody welcome back to Kentucky Outdoors uh, I just come out here to try a new product uh, you know first and foremost if you notice I do not have a safety harness on I am in a deer stand the reason I do not have a safety harness on is which I guess I'm breaking my own rule here you should always wear a safety harness I'm about five I'd say the, about five feet off the ground uh, when I come out here, basically try a new product, try a new climbing stand. Uh, Hawk Lightweight, I believe is what it's called. And last year I had reviewed the Summit Goliath. That stand is the exact opposite of this. I absolutely love that stand. It felt very sturdy, very safe. This in here, it feels safe. It really does. I don't feel like I'm going to go anywhere in it, but that's about the only upside to it. Uh, so if I can get up, turn around here. First thing, let me turn the camera around. First and foremost, this platform, I'm not, well, I'm a fairly good sized guy. I'm about five foot five, but my feet, for me to even sit halfway comfortably, are almost off of this here. So if I go to stand and shoot, a deer it's i've got to extremely watch what i'm doing most stands i've seen you know the platform will come out here and some even have a foot rest but this here my feet's almost off so i'm fixing to get up and turn around here in just a moment now this here is some features that i do like about it oh, and this here actually popped out somehow but now that's it. It's in. Just like this, I don't know if this is on all summits or just the Goliath. It may be all summit tree stands. These here that lock into the tree, that way it's not going anywhere. Uh, I'll feel a lot better about these cables, just like with the uh, Goliaths. But now this little safety feature right here does make me feel a whole lot safer. I don't think I can sit here and push on this. It ain't going nowhere. Basically, what it is. This here flips down to hold the cable in place and just to make sure it doesn't pop open, put that little pin in there. It's on both sides. Now, that's about it for the upsides. Uh, everything else is kind of, I don't want to say a bad design because I like the thought behind it. it just maybe it's just executed in not such a good way. But uh, I'll flip the camera back around here and show y'all the seat. The seat is somewhat comfortable if you can get it to come all the way out. Like it's here, but the thing is, it comes on almost all the way to the length of the stand, which you would think would make for a good, comfortable seat. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. When you turn around, as you can see, of course, to make sure I don't fall off stand. I go to sit down, which is, I'll get to here in a moment, somewhat difficult. I'm sitting on the back of a stand. I'm sitting on the part. I end up sitting on this right here, which is very uncomfortable. Because uh, this here ends up pushing back and just not, again, just not very comfortable. Another thing, which most of you that have seen my videos know, I carry a sidearm, always. Always carry one in the woods. Now, this makes for extremely easy packing. Again, great thought. Absolutely love it. Just, I don't know if there's any way you can get around it. The sides move in and out. Oops, sorry, I didn't cover up the camera there. But at the base of the tree, usually these are opened up, as you can see. But as you go up the tree, of course, the pressure from the stand, these here get narrower and narrower. I am kind of wide at the hips. Just saying. Also, carry a pistol on me. Uh, I've done try to get up a few times. I keep getting hung on these. Uh, I don't know what you call them, I guess. Armrests would be the best word for it. And... Uh, it very noisy and if i've got a deer coming in i don't if i'm sitting here grabbing my bow i don't want to be sitting here fiddling with stuff trying to stand up in my 
uh, stand to be able to stand up and take a shot. So, uh, as far as lightweight, this thing is, it's very lightweight, carried it in no problem. Very easy stand to bring in and out. Uh, again, feel safe for the most part, except for the bottom part is a little small for my taste. Uh, but overall, I'd have to maybe give it a one out of five, if that. Uh, I had debated on not doing a video on it at all because I had tried it out at one point and I don't like giving bad reviews on stuff. I don't like saying, hey, this product really isn't good because it might be good for someone else, just not me. Now, like I said, I'm a fairly heavy sized guy. I'm kind of broad. I'm not exactly small boned, but uh, if I had to pick between this stand and the Goliath, I would go with my Summit Goliath. Uh, it's a, lot, a little bit heavier, a little bit more awkward to carry, but I feel more confident in the Summit stands than this. Uh, the platform, I you know, might be able to get past, get over, uh, but you know, these arm rails digging into your side and stuff, I just, I, I can't get past that. That's not a, something I could deal with, especially for an all day sit. Uh, as cooler weather comes in, if you don't see behind me, all the beautiful colors of fall coming in. I just, I couldn't do it. There's, I cannot sit in this thing very long at all. So, but again, sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. That, I'd give it a five out of five. But just, the overall, no, sorry. I had big hopes for this stand. Uh, just because it was lightweight, I figured, oh man, it's smaller, it's easier, I can move around a lot more. But, oh well, that's my review. If you want to buy one, I'm not going to deter you from buying one. Go get you a Hawk lightweight climber, especially if you're a smaller individual. Uh, if you're scared of heights, kind of like I am, uh, and you're smaller framed, Go ahead, get one. Uh, I think they do perfect for somebody who's smaller frame than me. <coughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, take this down and probably head back to the house with it. I uh, might try to sell it, who knows. But, uh, oh yes, another safety feature. Sorry about that, that I just don't have with me. So I get the focus here. These holes right here. Can't look around. I actually have little straps with them that whenever you get in your stand and everything, you can actually hook it up here just like a little ratchet strap and tighten it down for some extra safety. Make you feel a little bit better. But, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, gun season here in Kentucky is right around the corner. I don't know if I'll be able to do a whole lot of that because uh, if you're like me, you got kids, you know, their stuff comes first. Oh, we got BD ball coming up and everything. So, oh well. Be fine as long as they're having fun, having a good time and I get to watch them. Uh, new products coming out to try. Actually, I should be getting one in the mail here today uh, from l and Custom Sense. Not sure if it's... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that for another video. Let y'all watch that and see how that turns out. Uh, another thing we're gonna be trying that is supposed to be coming in the mail, uh, called a deer crack, I believe is what it's called. That feels kind of odd just saying deer crack. So we're gonna try it out. Uh, we're actually gonna try it out in the same spot we've been putting our dead stop. Thing is we've held off on putting out dead stop because we wanna try this product and we don't want a conflict of interest. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Guys, y'all hunt hard, stay safe. and I'm going to get out of this climbing stand and nothing else. Just kind of jump from here. It's not that far of a fall. So, y'all have an awesome day. See y'all.